I love shopping with my kids. More than shopping, it turns into a girls' day out. We always have so much fun talking, eating out. It's the feeling of really connecting with your kids. I enjoy the mummy and girly times together. Today I'm taking my daughter to Kingston for shopping. It's a wonderful riverside town for shopping and having fun. Yeah. Sam is going for her work experience today. I need to drop her first and then Susie and I are taking a bus to Kingston. It's raining, but still we are going. It's like a little adventure. <laughs> Girlie's adventure. Daffodils are soaking in rain. It reminds me of Wordsworth's poem. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er vales and hills. When all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils. Things. This backpack charm was really pretty. Susie wants it. I bought some clips and uh, rubber bands as well. It's so pretty, honey. It's very nice. Still raining. <laughs> Too much rain. Do you enjoy walking in the rain? So peaceful, especially walking in the woods. It offers a different atmosphere and makes the surroundings more pleasant. Absolutely beautiful. It is. It's so beautiful. Aren't daffodils your favorite flower? Yeah. Daffodils and tulips as well. Yeah. So beautiful. Rain has stopped now, so we thought we'll walk by the riverside. It'll be really scenic and so beautiful here. Susie wants to bake a cake. We debated what to bake today. I said we'll make ginger cake, but she wanted the classic rainbow cake. <laughs> but then finally we've decided on coffee and walnut cake. Oh my. Oh, look at them. Are those swans? Look at them. <laughs> I think they're swans. Look at they're them. They're pretty. Yeah. That looks so liberating. It's beautiful. Yes. They be chilling in the water. <laughs> it is sunny now. Mm. We should see a rainbow. Yeah. There's no rainbow. The I rain started rainbow. when the sun was coming out and then it just stopped. Yeah. At least we get to walk around without you know, having rain on our hearts. <laughs> yeah, we are lucky. We are so lucky. It's nice and sunny now in the riverside. We are enjoying a little walk. We are chatting and walking. It's beautiful. We need self-raising flour, caster sugar and unsalted butter, each 200 grams. I've taken these three in equal quantity. Two tablespoons instant coffee powder, Walnut pieces, about 50 grams, 4 medium sized eggs and we need baking powder as well. It's a layered cake, so I'm going to use the sandwich tins to make the layers. I'll be cutting the parchment paper to the size of the tins. I'm buttering only the sides of the tin because I'll be using the parchment sheets so that cake won't stick to the bottom. I'll mix up the butter lightly before adding sugar. It is easy to cream it that way. Thank you. 
Now go in the eggs. It's nice and fluffy now. I'm going to shift the dry ingredients. Flour, coffee powder, and baking powder, two teaspoons. I'll bake to 20 to 25 minutes until it gets the golden color at the top. For the coffee icing, I'll be using 100 grams of butter, 150 grams of icing sugar, 1 tablespoon coffee powder and 2 teaspoons milk. The most satisfying part of baking a cake is decorating it. I just love it. It makes me so happy when you see everything coming together. We are planting no, vegetable no, seeds no, today. No, it's a lovely weather. It's nice ah, and sunny. All yesterday it was raining. It was pouring down all yesterday. But it's a lovely day for gardening. For growing great vegetable plants, you need a really, really good potting mix. We mix the garden soil with compost, organic compost and some manure as well. We use cocoa peat in potting mix. It's really good for the drainage as well. Water drainage is very, very important when you plant seeds. We use these small pods and these trays as well. Trays or even sometimes those plastic bags are available. You can cut the bottom of the plastic bag and plant it. It's very easy that way. We use all sort of those things. We just love gardening. We involve our kids also in gardening so that they will get the interest. They will develop it naturally. It has to happen organically, not forcing the kids to do. Just involve them a bit so that they learn and get the interest. It's just starting to rain now. Pati is planting already. I'll show you what are the things we are planting today. We have already planted some. What is this one? This is tomato. Tomato, yeah. 
tomato we should always plant it in a pot here in UK. You know, in tropical weathers like India, you can straight away plant it on the ground. But uh, there are a few things we need to pot like this, like cauliflower, um, broccoli, okra, chilies. These things we need to plant it in a pot and then transfer to the ground. I'll show you the things we are planting today. Uh, we've got some pumpkins, variety of pumpkins. And uh, these, all these things we bought from a garden center. Um, not from the supermarket. The supermarket seeds, they don't grow that much good. French beans. These are good ones from a good garden center. Courgette. Then I've got quite a few type of peppers. <laughs> we use a lot of chili. And this chili, I think it's a fiery one. See? For Indian cooking. And gherkins and another pumpkin variety. Uh, look at the aubergine, different types of aubergines. See, I've got so many aubergines. I love aubergines and I'm the only one who eats aubergine in our house. My kids don't like it. My hubby doesn't like it. Uh, French beans, cucumber. I need more cucumber for summer. And uh, I already have seeds for uh, beetroot and uh, potatoes. We need a lot of potatoes. I've always been convinced gardening has magical powers when it comes to health and well-being. I have found exposure to green spaces and plants has huge benefits for stress levels and mood. Nurturing plants and seeing them grow into fruit and veg brings a tremendous sense of purpose, achievement and kind of satisfaction. This feeling boosts my confidence and self-esteem. Tomorrow is my daughter's birthday. She's having a little party with her friends. Today we thought we'll go out for dinner, just our family, to celebrate her birthday. Nice 